Hey guys, welcome back to Dixie Bell's YouTube channel. It's Lauren here, and we've got another commission piece on our hands. Way back in May, I did a flip here on Dixie Bell's channel, a French Provincial six drawer dresser, and I painted it with silk paint in the color Harbor. Well, long story short, that baby took a long time to sell, but I finally sold it a week ago, and then they were interested in another piece, so I found a nightstand that's also French Provincial. It's not the exact match to that dresser that I did, but they want to make it into a very close match. So I'm gonna be making over this nightstand here with Harbor Silk Paint. Let's go ahead and get started by removing the hardware. So I am gonna be keeping this beautiful hardware. In my opinion, you should always, always, always keep the original hardware for French Provincial pieces. And if you don't have, maybe there's one missing or something, there's tons of places online and different antique stores that have French Provincial. I just think that it really matches the style amazingly. I am going to be making these gold with gold gilding wax later on because that's what I did with the other one and of course I want them to match as best as possible. So I got this for $30 on Marketplace and I just found this marking here on the drawer. It is a Dixie brand dresser or nightstand, so that's pretty neat. That is a actually really well-known furniture maker and definitely some really good quality here. Also, I ended up charging my customers $125 for this nightstand. I have to take into consideration how much I paid for it and then also the time to go pick it up and the fact that I was specifically looking for them. So next step is to clean. Since we're gonna be using silk paint, I'm going to be using a silk paint cleaner, which is pristine clean. So this is much like white lightning where it's the granules and it'll dissolve in water. So you just need to dump a little bit in there. It's about a tablespoon per gallon. And since I don't have a gallon in here, I obviously don't need a whole tablespoon. So we'll just mix that up. It dissolves in hot water and then we'll wipe it down. And the reason that we need to wipe down our furniture, as most of you guys know already, is just to get all of the dirt and grime and mostly the grease off of the surface so that the paint can stick to the surface as opposed to those those other particles. It's always a good idea to check underneath here. You'll see some cobwebs, maybe even some spider homes, little nests and things like that. But just to get it all clean for my customer or whoever's gonna buy your pieces. Okay, and then in order to get all that cleaner off, I'm going to use some fresh, clean water and rinse everything down. So now we've got a pretty glossy surface here. This is probably a laminate on the top and then it's painted on the sides. So we really need to scuff up this surface. So I'm gonna go grab my sander. So I've got my surf prep sander here and I'm gonna be using 220 grit just to give some texture to the surface here so that the paint can stick really well. Okay, sanding is done and we've got a little bit of a rougher surface here. So I'm just gonna wipe back all of the dust that was created and not sucked up by my vacuum. So if you guys don't have a vacuum dust extractor for your sander, I would highly suggest looking into one because with these winter months coming up, it'll definitely help you be able to sand indoors and keep you warm at the same time. All right, let's paint. 
As I said in the beginning, I'm gonna be using the Silk Paint, which is an all-in-one paint. If you haven't used it yet, I would highly recommend trying it out. It's just a one-step paint. You need two coats and then you're done. It's got that top coat built in. It's got that primer built in. So definitely a great paint for a quick flip. And then also they've got about 20 colors and they're pretty subtle colors. A lot of them have to do with the sea and they're very nautical. So it's kind of fun. They don't have any crazy out there colors. This is probably their brightest color in the silk line. And I kind of love its boldness. I'm gonna be using my Scarlet brush. As you can see, it's very well loved, but it still works like a charm. And I'm just gonna dip it in. And then with silk paint, you don't wanna go too crazy on back and forth in one spot. So you just wanna you know, smooth it out as much as possible and then it'll self level as it dries. All right, first coat on these two is all finished up, so we're gonna let that dry. And in the meantime, I'm gonna head over and work on the hardware. All right, gold gilding wax, here it is. And this is obviously a wax, so once I get it on there and it dries and I buff it out, I don't have to do any top coat over this because once it cures, it'll stay on its own. So I've got a little detail brush here and I am just going to dip it into the gold gilding wax and then just dab it on to the hardware any place that I want it to go, which in this case is gonna be all over the front of the hardware because we're going for a more gold look. So that's going to dry and cure for about 30 minutes and then I'll come back and buff it out. In the meantime, my first coat is still drying over there so we'll get on to second coat once that's dry. coat is on and I just love how the silk paint has these self-leveling properties. It just is, there's barely any brush stroke marks. And this is the difference between the silk paint line and the chalk paint line. So if you're going for a more distressed look or a little bit more rustic-y, I guess you could say, you could go with the chalk paint. But if you're going for a more sophisticated, flat outlook, then definitely go with the silk paint because of those self-leveling properties. Now, basically all we've got left to do is reassemble the nightstand and put the hardware on. So I always like to go the extra step and take out some Big Mama's Butter. This time I'm gonna be using Suzanne's Garden Scent. So it basically just smells like the garden. And I am going to use a La Petite brush just to put a little bit of Big Mama's Butter onto the drawer slides here. And this is just going to really butter them up and help the drawers slide in and out a lot smoother than they might if you didn't put this on. Now, it's not that these drawers had a hard time going in and out, but this will just make it that much easier for a little two-year-old to open and close these drawers. And it also gives it a nice smell while we're at it. So now I'm also putting a little bit of Big Mama's Butter on the insides of the drawers just to spruce up that wood just a tad bit. And then also here on the bottom slides. And that's again, just going to butter up the sides 
to help it slide in and out a little bit nicer. Well, here we are, the finished product. Again, I just have so much fun putting paint on a piece and making it completely transform into something new and something that is going to be well-loved and it's just been given a new life. And I cannot wait to see it in the little two-year-old's room to go with the matching French Provincial Bigger Dresser and just all of the Cinderella-y things that they put along with it. I really hope that they enjoy it and that it is well-loved for years to come. Sometimes all it takes is a coat of paint, especially when you have silk paint because the silk paint I didn't have to do any primer. I didn't have to do any top coat. So here we are, just a couple of coats of paint and we've got a new look. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick flip and you know, find furniture around your house. Maybe you are just itching to get started but you're not sure what to start with. Grab a piece of furniture from your own home and give it a try. Maybe you don't wanna start selling things immediately but trying on your own furniture is a great place to start. We will be here back next Friday for another FFT Friday. And of course, get subscribed down below on Dixie Bell's channel, but then head over to Furniture Flipping Teacher and subscribe over there as well. And if you want a little bit more behind the scenes of Furniture Flipping Teacher, go ahead and give us a follow over on Instagram at Furniture Flipping Teacher. We do tons of behind the scenes. We've got photos over there of before and afters. We've got some fun real videos over over there as well and we would love to have you a part of our Instagram community too. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you on the flip side. <music>